What's going on, y'all? Wolf back at you again with another reaction. Alright y'all, before we move on to these Bleach episodes, I'm currently 10 episodes ahead on my Patreon with the full reaction available, of course. So if you want to watch those instead, make sure you click the link down below in the description. You know what I'm saying? Um, what happened, what happened, what happened? So, uh, what happened? So, somewhere was on Pacto fights happened. Kira versus Kazashini. Wabisuke showed up. Wabisuke's design is a lot different than I expected. I think he has one leg, and he looks like a... He even looks like more of a killer than Kazashini does, which I thought was pretty impossible, so... Uh, but I guess, I guess that, that, that does make sense, because Kira's fighting style is very, um, non-merciless. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kira just wants to win the fight by any means possible, and he doesn't care how he wins it, you know? Uh, so, uh, Wabisuke's design, I guess, reflects that, you know what I'm saying? So that's happening. Renji is currently bodying Byakuya. Soifun is 1v3 against her Zanpakuto, the fucking Lightning Zanpakuto, and Tengen, the Fire Zanpakuto, I guess. Um, and yeah. Oh! The most, but the most interesting thing that happened is motherfucking Kenpachi. Kenpachi is here. And I'm very curious to see if his Zanpakuto has materialized because we know he doesn't even know the name of his Zanpakuto, you know what I'm saying? So I can't wait to see him in action. It wouldn't be... I mean, this... Uh, it's honestly a, a better move on, on Bleach's part to add Kenpachi to any type of arc because he's just a, such a savage, badass character, you know what I'm saying? So the show would feel empty without him, so I'm glad he's finally here. He's let open his Ryatsu and he's about to go wild. Also, uh, Ikaku was able to, I guess... Ikaku Shikai was able to beat, um, fucking, uh, Hozuki Maru's Bankai. Don't know how, it just happened. So, that's that. Uh, so, I'm just ready to, go, to get it going. So, these are Bleach episodes 244 and 245. Make sure I like, subscribe. Go, bro. Look at him, bro. Oh, oh, that, that's the same, same building Kimpachi was in. We didn't know that one. The beast has been awoken. He is about to shift the tides of battle. Damn, Wabiski doesn't give a damn. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, wait, okay, we can't use Wabiske anymore. Thanks. <laughs> Top five anime duos right here. No cap. <laughs> Easily, bro. Ooh, Byaki versus Kenpachi. We actually didn't see this in the Iranka arc when they actually did it off camera. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he's let loose. Right away? Okay, 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 okay. You know, when it comes to Bleach, um, every character, like, has their, you know, has their own shtick in place. I feel like Zoraki breaks the code, dude. He breaks the wheel, he doesn't follow anything. He's just his own element. I love that. We honestly don't know how strong he is. You know? The strongest we've seen Zoraki is when he used two hands. That's it. 
この僕だって意地を張って喧嘩を続けるのさそれで倒れたならその時は笑えよおおチェリー怖しばが悪くてはやつの動きに対応しきれぬこちらも静かに戦っている場合ではないか逃げる気場所を変えるついてこい That fight's gonna be, I think, very hard for Soifon. Not only does Suzumi Bachi have Suzumi Bachi powers, but she's a very small target to hit, making it very hard to hit her, you know what I'm saying? Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, Game 2 Katensha out from the ground. That's just a simple Riatsu blast, yeah? Oh! Well, we know the more damage Kenpachi takes, he gets stronger, so. This doesn't mean a thing. In fact, it gets worse for Biyaki the longer this fight goes. Oh, shit! Cut it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Stop talking and fucking. St I hate when they do this in anime. <laughs> I hate when they do this in anime. Stop talking and fucking stab them. Jesus. Yumichika and Ikaku's rules for themselves when they fight are. I know they're supposed to, like, you know. Uh, represent uh, Kenpachi, who also has his own rules for fighting, not, not like his eye patch and holding back and stuff, but God. Sometimes it's just annoying. You know, why not just fight with all your force? We're about to get motherfucking Kenpachi versus Biaki, ya boy! A fight I wish I saw in the Iran car arc when they alluded to it. But of course, they stopped us from seeing it. It's okay. You know, it's all good. We're getting it now. いいじゃねえか。やってみろ。いいじゃねえか。俺はいつかおめえと命の切り合いをして、そう思っていた。やっとのってきたな。おう。あしょうきじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじじ
I mean, I don't blame her for simping for Yoruchi. Loki, I did the same thing, man. Loki. Lights on. What the fuck? I can't wait for the I can't wait for the day that I get to see Achito fight. We know she's fast. We know she's got she's she's a lieutenant for a reason. Of Kenpachi of all people. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see her fight one day. Oi. Oh, there's my Yuri. Oh god, that smile. You know, that, that does make sense for my Yuri to have a self-destruct button for a Zanpak toe. So that's pretty easy to deal with for him. He has precautions for this kind of thing. Oh! Yep, she's getting red. Hey girl! Oh god. <laughs> okay. That's right, he put surveillance germs into his antidotes and shit. That's fucking hilarious. Whoa, pussy, what the fuck? That's the. F <laughs> what word did he use to say that? <laughs> Hey, Luka joined the fight. It sucks that their Zanpak toes are sealed, including hers. Because I'd love to see what they look like, you know? It just wants to play! <laughs> I can't even make that noise. I can't even- I can't even do it, y'all. What the fuck? That's so high-pitched. Also, it's a baby, right? It's supposed to, like, represent a baby. That's why it sounds like that. It just wants to play! Hi. I don't know, Ukitake. I really want to believe Byaki is on our side and is doing something very noble right now, but I have no idea what it is! Oh! Oh! That's Ukitake, Unohana, and... Kirakus! Sword sealing Eurasian Jaku. Jaka, right? And they're sealing the old man. Well, now I know what they look like. I think Ukitake was the two twins with the fucking wizard hats. I think Kirakus was the one on the right because um, I believe he, he has said his, his sword is a female and it was like also wearing kind of a flower dress or kimono. Um, but I was surprised. If that's the case, then Unohana would be the one in the back with the fucking dark hoodie, dark hoodie on. Uh, like a shady character, which is very strange. Because I would expect her Zanpak to, I don't know, to just be some type of healing manta ray fairy thing. I don't know what I was expecting, but not that. Not that dark looking character. Anyway, okay, so. Here we are. Um, okay, so first of all, I want to say I was told this, this, um, this filler ends on episode 255. So if that's correct, let me know in the comments. Uh, that sounds correct. Um, and just to just to let you guys know, after I'm done with this filler, I'll be watching the Fade to Black movie. That will probably be in three parts as well, maybe even two parts, just like the Hellverse movie was. Um, and then after that, we will be watching the Reggae arc. And then, of course, after that, I'll be finally making... Um, or actually, the, I think there are a couple of Bleach videos you guys want me to react to, like um, the Bleach Anniversary Review video. 
uh, or like someone said, watch the first episode of the uh, of the, the actual new arc, like it was fan made or whatever. Uh, so again, if you guys want want me to watch anything Bleach before we're finally finished, because my last my last Bleach video will be my Bleach review video, where I'll be talking about my favorite Bankai's, favorite Zanpakuto's, favorite characters, favorite arcs, favorite. Um, you know, uh, espadas, all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about all that kind of stuff. That will be the last Bleach video I'll be making. So before that, if you guys want me to watch any anything Bleach related, let me know. Spam it up. I will only watch things that are spammed, right? Cool. Anyway, um, so Kenpachi. We got a little bit of Kenpachi versus Byakuya. Not the fight I was expecting. Obviously, no Bankais were used. Not really a crazy ass yes fight. Um, Kenbashi did fucking one shot Pabisuke, so that, <laughs> that was kind of awesome. Um, but yeah, so uh, why do they want to go to the real world? It obviously has something to do maybe with uh, Ryuji and Jaka's power, because they're sealing it, right? They're not destroying it, so maybe they're using, they, they need to use it for a reason. Um, but I can't really guess why um, Muramasa wants to go to the real world now. That's what they said when he was talking to Byakuya, right? Nandesuka. <laughs> why? Why, why, why? I don't know. I can't really make any theories. Can't really make any theories. You know what I'm saying? Um, cons uh, uh, we saw Byaki's reaction when he saw Captain Yamamoto sealed up. So I think he's on our side. He wouldn't react like that if he wasn't on our side, right? You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't go, <gasps> you, know what I'm saying? you know what I mean? He, he looks like he was in concern for his Captain Commander. So I think Byaki is definitely on our side. He's just doing something. I just don't know what. I don't know what his plans are, but I feel it. I feel like for the most part, he is definitely doing something for us. It's, he's doing something very noble. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to let them do that for us. Um, I liked little, the little Mayuri chem, cameo. Mayuri Loki is one of my favorite characters in the show, man. He is just, he brings an, a, another type of energy where all these swordsmen exist with their crazy Bankai powers. He comes in with his, science, with his fucking scientific creepy attitude and it's kind of a, honestly, even though it's super creepy, it's a breath of fresh air in an anime like this. So I definitely felt with his character. I like seeing more of it. Also, it's fun to see his, his, uh, his Zanpakuto is basically a baby, a fucking creepy baby caterpillar. You know what I mean? That fucking creeps the hell out of me. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Um, what else? What else? That's pretty much all that happened. Uh, I, I, I'm glad we finally saw what Ukitake, Kiraku, and Unohana Zanpakuto all look like. I'm pretty sure that was them, right? They were the ones sealing it up, and I'm pretty sure I got, you know, what they look like correctly. Um, it's just, um, what do they do? What are their powers? You know what I mean? Uh, and, I mean, it, this is also to show just how strong Ryujin Jaka is because it takes three of them who are, you know, uh, some of the oldest members of the Gotei 13. It takes three of them to hold Ryujin Jaka down and all that Yamamoto. So, again, it gauges just how strong Yamamoto is. You know, in a thousand years, there's been no Shinigami stronger than him. And they're showing that, so I'm glad. I'm glad he's he's a uh, he's he, he's getting his respect. Old man Yamamoto, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, all right. Well, I can't wait to see the conclusion. We have about ten episodes left. That's about five days. So um, uh, the rest of these episodes should already be should already be on my, on my Patreon with the full reaction available. So if you guys want to watch those instead, make sure you click the link down below in the description. Other than that, y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. I will see you on next Bleach reaction. Make sure you guys like subscribe. Peace.